Today, we need to get into Hype sending medics to their office and creating their own facility. We also have fans worried about Jungkook's health during cold training in the military, and I'll explain all that. And then we have Jungkook performing at what people are saying his sort of condition and status is. So, you don't believe this is Dave Desai, hate it or not, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on, and grab your dumpling, hastily mug merch, and let's go. We need to get into Jungkook and his extremely great condition and abilities. So this part of the video is probably just going to be a bit more of rant and just me venting about what people say about Jungkook. I think the fandom can sometimes over exaggerate things that seem great within the fandom because people within the fandom know Jungkook and believe he's great. However, the content is written for the sake of more what the K-pop fans call locals. And it doesn't end up appealing to the locals, it ends up making the locals think K-pop fans are cringe. So what is going on and why would people think this? Jungkook is extremely talented and of course never lip syncs or pretends to sing. He always sings live and does a fantastic job. Now Jungkook doesn't have a voice where it sounds like Beyonce and he doesn't have a voice where he has a big loud growl. There's nothing wrong with not having that. But I think because he doesn't have that, people tend to think that he doesn't have a very strong voice, which is so far from the truth. If you take moments of Jungkook singing with a band and you can still hear his voice crystal clear, your voice has to be strong in order to be able to do that. If you're someone who sings very quietly, then you get drowned out by music and then you don't sound strong. So of course Jungkook sounds amazing. However, people outside need to be won over and thus fans have opted to say things like other singers can't do this and only Jungkook is able to. This makes no sense to me because so many singers from around the world can sing with a band and they can sing live. What about rock singers? What about other singers who have performed at the same venue and in the same capacity as Jungkook? They are all capable of singing live and doing a fantastic job at it. When singing at BBC, Jimmy Fallon, or the Global Citizens Festival, all singers there are not used to auto-tune unless it's part of the style. So to say that Jungkook doesn't do it there and that makes him better than everyone else, because people who are not K-pop fans see these comments as unrealistic, and they see them as K-pop fans literally not knowing the world around them. Most singers sing without autotune. What makes Jungkook great is his ability to make catchy music, his ability to dance, and sing the way that he does, and he has unbelievable charm on camera. Highlight those things. Of course, also saying Jungkook sings very well without autotune is also an achievement, but it's not something that you can tack on at the end and say, your fave could never. Pretty sure Adele, Lady Gaga, Beyonce, Halsey, and many others don't use autotune when they're live. And also, this is the standard that all singers are put to, right? Like they have to know how to actually sing. We as the audience love to cloud things where we say so and so, the singer can't sing because we hear autotune. If we hear it, it's done with the purpose to hear it because we can hear it. The producers and the people mixing it can definitely hear it and that was the point. So bottom line, even those who tune can probably still sing very well. There's a lot of people having opinions online and I'm not sure if this is just what happens or if it's actually warranted. There's been a lot of hate online recently over Hybe and their treatment with their artists. I have to disagree that they treat their artists badly because who? Hybe is a company with thousands of employees. Maybe a select few people could be bad, but an entire company, it's not likely. And Hybe just added another reason why not only is Hybe a great place to work, but they actually do treat their artists well and use their resources for artists. So what happened? It was recently announced that Hybe became the first ever K-pop label company to have an in-house medical team. What does this mean? It means when an idol gets injured or has any medical issues, they can go directly to Hive and get medical attention without needing to go to a hospital or waiting to get medical attention. They have whatever they need right on call. Private medicine sometimes is better, it's faster, and it's more custom to the artist. The news talking about this has specified that the specific label's new medic also has some knowledge about music. This was exciting as it meant that those artists going to the doctor for special things, the doctor can accurately treat them as the doctor would be aware of the specifics of those artists. So if they're familiar with BTS members and how they sing, and BTS goes to the doctor over a throat issue, the doctor can cater their treatment more. However, this is not just something that is open to artists, this is also available to any Hive employees. And it's an added perk on top of everything else that showcases why it's such a great place to work there. This also likely allegedly could save the company a lot of money on things like healthcare when they have their specialized doctor in the building that can write prescriptions and do whatever they can do. Although healthcare is not something in Korea that is expensive or unaffordable, having an in-house medic helps move the process along faster. Given that people in Korea can just go to the doctor for whatever reason and stuff as small as a cold, I would imagine the lines are really long and artists don't have time to wait. 
Neither do the employees. This also helps the employees get better and be able to get back to work. Jungkook often goes to the doctor and gets IV therapy. This is for things like his dieting or dehydration. I definitely don't recommend IV drip for dieting, but that is something he has allegedly admitted to doing. But for things like needing an IV to get more hydration in the body, that can be done at an expedited pace with an in-house doctor. And I'm really glad to hear such a resource was added to their building. I think it makes all the workers and artists feel safe and taken care of, which of course, as they mentioned in the articles, might be something people from other labels don't feel since Hive is the first to do this. Of course, with this announcement of a medical team, I think we should be less concerned over the health of the boys, as Hive can send their medic anywhere and to anyone that may need medical attention. Also be concerned over the boys in the military discounts how effective and good the military doctors can be. And I actually have no idea if they're good or not, but I assume they are government level doctors. So who was everyone concerned about and why were they concerned? People were worried about Jungkook recently at the camp and specifically a new training that was happening. This is not a new training for the camp, but a newer training for Jungkook and Jimin. Jimin and Jungkook will be doing what they call cold training. This is where the boys endure the cold weather and temperatures that they will likely have to endure if they were to ever go into a war. So showing how capable they are in extreme temperatures, it was rumored that the temperature went below zero at negative nine degrees, which is about 15 degrees Fahrenheit. This is obviously a very cold temperature, and I imagine if this training was happening in the summer, it would be done in extreme heat. I actually think cold is better with, as with extreme heat and the extreme amount of layers that any military trainee would have, it makes the possibility of fainting to be really possible. People were, however, very worried about Jungkook's possible reaction to the cold. In a previous performance, I believe this was in New York, Jungkook was just wearing a blazer, and when he was on stage, he was mouthing the words, aren't you cold, to people, and then even asking the staff if they were cold. This was during the Today Show. You can visibly see Jungkook hopping and being really cold. People were worried because it seemed like Jungkook was about to catch a cold, and no one really cared for him. First off, we don't know what the situation was and if Jungkook was refusing to wear a jacket because he wanted people to see his outfit and wanting his outfit to be photographed. Second of all, that situation is definitely extremely different from the situation in the military. The military will have pounds and pounds of layers on him and he will be bundled up and face covered. The winds will likely not be able to break through and then on top of that, he will likely be carrying really heavy equipment. This no doubt would actually probably make him feel hot and sweaty after doing training activities. This of course is very different thing compared to doing a performance where the action can be very draining and can make you sweat. But the energy being used in the military would be much bigger. Just a bit of information about the training is it was supposed to be believed to span about four or five days, so they are still in the middle of it. Send them well wishes and just believe that they will come out of it stronger than ever and they will ace it. I have no doubt in my mind they will do this better than anyone else at the camp would. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. A link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.